Oh, I think it's going to be both. Um, we know that, um, obviously, India have had a few players out, but we know the 11 players they put on the field are going to be coming really hard tomorrow. They've got a bit of a sniff of, of something special, something they've never done in Australia. So um, we know it's going to be another hard-fought, highly competitive test, and it's going to be a huge challenge for, for our whole group, not just our batters or, or our bowlers. Um, it's going to take all 11 of us. Um, yeah, I, I know he's always sort of in and around our group. He has been for um, you know, probably the last six to eight months, to be, to be fair. And um, obviously he's working with Channel 7, so he's around the venues. And, um, and one of the things we're trying to do is get a lot of our ex-players back. So he's just another one that um, when he's around, we, we try and tap into. And um, him in particular, I think he makes our, our batting group um, walk a bit taller and, and fills them with confidence. So I'm sure they were all speaking to him today at certain periods. Oh, we, we encourage all our players to, to back their strengths. Um, yeah, Finchie's been successful in international cricket. I think um, you know, he played really well in the UAE, but he might, he's like no other player. He just needs that one score to, um, I suppose, get that, that little bit more self-belief at, at test level that we know he's got at, at international T20 and, and one-day cricket. So, um, yeah, Finchie's no different to any other player. You're not going to succeed in international cricket unless you stick to your strengths and... Um, Finchie knows the best way he goes about his batting and um, we've just got to keep, keep him on track and, and make sure he keeps trying to do that. And if he does, he'll, he'll come good for us. Um, well, it's going to be very hot, so it's going to be hard to put a team in when it's you know, nearly 40, 40 degrees. I'm not sure the bowlers would speak to me. But, um, but having said that, if you're bowling first, um, I think conditions will be quite favourable. So it's either way, Pete, you've got to do it well. So we're, we're ready for both. Uh, taking your catches... It's a good one. Um, no, but look, whether he gets runs or he doesn't get runs, um, we were really happy with the fact that with how we bowled to him in, in Adelaide, um, obviously in the first innings he didn't get in and, and always took a great catch, but um, in the second innings we were really pleased that we made him face over 100 balls to score you know, 30 runs, and I don't think he does that a hell of a lot. And, um, and even of those 30-odd runs, I think six or seven came off him when we just threw Travis Head the ball for a few overs. So... Um, you know, we made him face 105, 110 balls for, for 20 odd, um, and that's something that we want to continue to do. We, we know that at some stage he's going to score runs. Um, he's the best player in the world, so you can expect that. But um, we want to make him work really hard every, for every run he's, he's going to score, and we think we started the Test series really well against him. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments in the comment section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.